mean it was a cool little concept, but I didn't want to pay 10 bucks for it. It was free on the Epic Game Store last week, and as an indie game developer, I almost feel guilty playing that game for free. Anyway, I'd love to talk to you about the game design. This is game design school. Let's dive in and begin. So basically like the whole selling point of Minute is that you only have a minute to do stuff. When the game first starts, you, um, you actually don't have that timer up. But you can't really go anywhere until you find a sword on the beach and the sword's cursed and that's why you only have a minute to do stuff. It's obvious that the game was inspired by and it kind of feels like old Zelda games like Link's Awakening etc. It has RPG aspects to it but like you can get an extra heart but I mean not really. For the most part it's a puzzle game but as you can imagine if you can only live for a minute you, you can't go too far to solve puzzles and you're only going to be able to solve like one puzzle at a time. And that's kind of exactly what it's like. You, you have a you have your house, your safe point, and every life you basically venture out and you solve a puzzle. And that puzzle will give you an item to solve another puzzle, which will give you an item to solve another puzzle. So it does feel kind of linear um, because you literally can't access uh, places, which is which is what Zelda does as well. Except um, this is a lot more puzzly, I think, than um, uh, well, whatever. It's a little bit more puzzly than most Zelda games. But I did want to, um, you know, like kill stuff. <laughs> like in, in Zelda, there's a lot of action, even though they have um, they have puzzling. There's a lot of combat, but the combat there's there's almost no combat or no reason to do the combat um, in in minute. It, you're not you don't get you don't have to really kill enemies to get to another point. You can just walk around them, and you don't really get like experience points or currency. So, like, one of the times, that the only reason I had to kill some enemies is because it, w it was one of the puzzles. One of the puzzles was to kill five crabs. It's almost like a quest, but whatever. I I'll just call it a puzzle, because you had to find out where they were. So, as you can imagine, there's only so many puzzles you can fit within one minute of your spawn. So, their solution to this was to have you set another spawn point, which uh, it's basically just another house. And then, that house is surrounded by puzzles. So the way that the time works is it's not really like the world restarts. Um, sure, like enemies respawn and stuff, but all the core items that you pit, that you collect um, from solving these puzzles, you get to keep those. So you, you get to keep items, and um, a lot of the a lot of the characters kind of like they know you've already spoken to them. Um, so it's not like. Uh, the world forgets what what happened. It's kind of more like you just went home and went to sleep. <laughs> it's kind of more like you are forced to teleport back to your house. So it's not super interesting. It's basically like playing Zelda with a timer, and that means you can't relax, you can't chill, and it can get kind of annoying. Because let's say you're doing a puzzle in Zelda, and it's kind of tough, and you're not sure how to solve it. You can kind of just sit there and think about it. But in minute, you would, you would maybe fail a puzzle and then you have to run to it again and then fail it and then run to it again and fail it. So uh, there's, not, there's no real con to dying or to wasting time, but you really only have enough time to solve one puzzle. So there's no incentive to try to do more than one puzzle in a life. And there's also no penalty for dying. So it, at times it can kind of just feel like a tedious, um, a tedious thing to keep running to one of the puzzles you're trying to solve just because you weren't capable of solving it in your first couple tries. Honestly, it's such a simple concept. It's nothing too crazy or, or like really fun to experience. So I'm pretty surprised how far they were able to take this game. The title, the art, everything, like it, it's, it's cool. It's got something going for it. But once you play it, it's, it's really not that, the novelty is not that interesting. The story is very minimal. I never got a chance to fall in love with the characters or be immersed in the world. You can beat the game in like in like two hours, so <laughs> it's really just puzzle after puzzle solving. And that's, I don't know. If you like the puzzle solving aspect of Zelda, you'd probably enjoy this game. Overall, it's, it's, kind of, it's a fun game to play, but I don't think they executed, you know, on the minute concept as as well as was possible and you know there's a few things that that the game lacks like story and stuff but um it's still possible to have fun with this game 
I think that's all I have to say. I'll see you next week. Jeff Life.